Hey guys, it's Metacosis Perfect Snails one more time. We have been talking about osteoarthritis for a long time. Today we'll talk about how to diagnose this degenerative joint disease, the disease of the elderly that's not only mechanical but also biomechanical joint disease, destruction of the cartilage and growth of bones. With that being said, now let's get started. If you haven't watched my previous videos in this playlist, you're not going to understand anything. As you know, rheumatological diseases are divided into non-inflammatory such as osteo, inflammatory such as rheumatoid arthritis. In osteo, we have no cardinal signs of inflammation. It's asymmetrical. Worse in the evening, I'm talking about the pain, ESR and CRP are normal. Osteoarthritis is non-inflammatory, therefore no cardinal signs of inflammation, no constitutional symptoms. The pain is worse with use because it's biomechanical, it's asymmetrical, no elevation of ESR or CRP. Osteoarthritis is biomechanical, affects weight-bearing joints, obesity is a risk factor, trauma is a risk factor, manual occupation is a risk factor, it's a chronic disease, joint fluid analysis, white blood cells more than 200 but less than 2000, what's normal, less than 200, what's inflammatory, more than 2000, osteoarthritis is in between. Morning stiffness for less than 30 minutes because it's a non-inflammatory arthritis and in non-inflammatory arthritis pain predominates. Not stiffness, but when you have stiffness it's gonna be less than 30 minutes. No inflammation, no synovitis. Your chances of getting osteoarthritis as you grow older increase exponentially. Now let's diagnose this evil disease. Mainly clinical, you need history, you need physical exam. Remember rheumatology is all about pattern recognition. It quacks like a duck, walks like a duck, it's probably a duck. X-ray helps, of course, lab results to rule out other diseases such as rheumatoid, such as what else, gout, such as Grin, such as lupus, etc, etc, etc. And when you're taking history from the patient, please try to recognize, is it primary osteo or secondary osteo? Why do I care? Because if it's secondary osteo, it's a secondary to another problem such as, let's say, lupus or an injury or something. So you have to fix this problem first before you treat the osteo, you stupid idiot. Physical exam. Crepitus. Crepitus is palpable. You can feel it. Crepitus is audible. You can listen to it. Not to be confused with the Amazon subsidiary. Next, we have osteophytes. They are bony projections. Osteophytes are here, you know? You remember the subchondral sclerosis and the aberration? Yep. Palpable. Inflammation. Oh, osteophytes can, osteophytes can lead to inflammation? Yes, but it's a local inflammation. It's not a systemic inflammation in your bloodstream, such as rheumatoid arthritis is. It's just inflammation here. You can find erythema, tenderness, and swelling due to this inflammation. Cool. Next, you have Heberden, Heberden and Bouchard nodes, the DIP and the PIP. What is the nature of these nodes? They are called osteophytes. Some other authors argue that they, these are cysts, but they are probably osteophytes. If they are osteophytes, do you think Heberden and Bouchard are going to be soft or hard? Of course, they are going to be hard. However, when we talk about rheumatoid arthritis later, rheumatoid nodules are soft because they are not osteophytes. Think, people, think. If you have bony projections all over the place, of course the range of motion is going to decrease. We have passive range of motion and active range of motion. Passive to whom? To the doctor or the patient? Who cares about the doctor? Of course to the patient. Passive range of motion is... Passive is you move the patient's joints for him, so it's passive to him, he's not making any effort. And when you do this, you'll form tender. Oh, doctor, stop, please. This is tenderness. Active range of motion is to say to the patient, I want you to actively move your joint. And then you will find limitation of movement. Not pain, because the patient will stop his movement himself before the pain starts. Okay, because no one want to hurt himself. Unless you have Lishnihan syndrome, deficiency of the HGPRT enzyme. Next, we have non inflammatory effusion. Again, non inflammatory. What's the number one joint that's involved in osteo? CMC1, the first carpo metacarpal joint. 
at the base of the thumb. We call it squaring of the CMC. If you can look, it's not rounded and with a nice contour like normal people, it's squared. This deal is about to end very soon. Perfection Nails Ultimate Notebook plus 20 lymphoma cases plus 25 bleeding cases for less than five bucks available on patreon.com forward slash medicosis. Lab, we have blood tests and joint fluid analysis. Blood tests, ESR, normal, why? Because osteo is non-inflammatory. CRP, normal, why? Same thing, CBC, normal, CMP, normal. ANA may be positive, but who cares about ANA anyways? What's ANA? It's anti-nuclear antibody. If you need to know more about it, watch my video number six in this playlist, and the video is called Rheumatology Mastering the Labs because I'm so philosophically sophisticated, I'm spitting wisdom all over the place. Joint fluid analysis. Osteo is non-inflammatory. So the volume, why is the volume more than 3.5? First, what's the normal? Less than 3.5 ml in the knee. Why is osteo more than that? Because you can find effusion. And by definition, if you have effusion, the volume is gonna be increased. Get your head out of your sphincter. Clarity is transparent. What's the normal clarity? Transparent. Cool. Color. Yellow. What's the normal color? Straw colored or even colorless. White blood cells. More than 200 but less than 2000. What was the normal? Less than 200. So in this manner, osteoarthritis is not normal. PMNs in the joint. Less than 25% of the total leukocytic count in the joint. Okay. Do you think neutrophils are going to predominate if osteoarthritis is a chronic, chronic problem. No, lymphocytes are going to predominate. So the PMN ratio is less than 25%. Culture is negative because there is no bacteria. It's not septic arthritis when there is like a gonorrhea or a Lyme disease or what have you. Radiology, baby. These rich doctors in their Ferraris. Asymmetric, non-concentric are the same thing. So asymmetric, what the flip does that mean? You look at this joint and you look at this joint and the, uh, they are not the same. Really? So this joint and this joint are not the same? Yes. You see here, we have lots of stuff. We have subchondral sclerosis, which are these guys. These guys, subchondral beneath the cartilage, which is the bone. Sclerosis means hardening. Do you think this is like this? No, that's why it's asymmetrical. All right. Then we have osteophytes. Osteophytes are these guys, these, these bone projections here. Joint space narrowing. See the joint space? It's not, look, look at the normal here. Look at the normal. Joint space narrowing. No kidding. Why? Because of the osteophytes. Ooh, okay. And the joint space narrowing is asymmetrical. It's asymmetrical between the right and left knee and it's asymmetrical within the same joint. It's more narrow on this side than on the other side. Okay, bone enlargement because of the osteophytes, hibernation, which are the ivory bones. And we have talked about them in my video about the pathophysiology of osteoarthritis. If you love visual medical mnemonics, check my friends at Picmonic. The link is in the description. In the next video, we'll talk about treatment of osteoarthritis, so please subscribe, join the tribe, hit the bell to get notified, join me on Facebook, I have more than 99 cases. You can follow me on these platforms, on patreon.com forward slash medicosis, you can support this channel, you can get extra notes about osteoarthritis for less than a buck, you can get more aspirin notes for the same thing, for a buck, it's not less than a buck, it's a buck. For the same buck, you can get aspirin notes, for the same buck, you can get rheumatoid arthritis notes, Thank you so much for watching. As always, be safe, stay happy, and study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis, where medicine makes perfect sense.